Color series is back. Um, this is basically where I choose a color and then I tell you about some of my favorite makeup products that come in that shade. And uh, last week on Beauty Broadcast Live, I was asking what kind of shades you guys wanted to see um, for fall because there's so many nice, rich, deep colors. And burgundy was one that came up a lot. And that's definitely one of my favorites too because I have favorites in eyes, lips, nails, cheeks, you name it, some palettes even. So let's get started and talk about lips first. And this is something I'm wearing today along with one other product and it's the Tarte Lip Surgeons in Moody. I've had this little guy for so long, I'm about out of it, but it is just a really, really pretty deep red color. And I know it looks super dark there in the packaging. It's not really as dark when you see it on the lips or in a swatch. Here's what it looks like. It's definitely wearable. I love the texture of these. I think they're really moisturizing on the lips. They have a little bit of a minty scent to them, but I really love that shade. On top of that, I'm wearing a really, really glamorous, awesome, shiny color. Um, it's from NYC and it's the Liquid Lip Shine. And this shade is, what's it called? Wine and Dine. So, so pretty. If you keep up with my blog, you know I mentioned this with my top fall lip glosses. Just a regular doe foot applicator there. I'll swatch it right beside um, the lip surgeons. Look at how intense that color is. For something in this kind of liquidy gloss form, I'm really impressed that there's so much rich color payoff, so I really enjoy this. Another shade that's just a classic, and if you've gotten in on the Revlon Lip Butter craze, you probably already have this, and it's the Lip Butter in Red Velvet. A very wearable red shade. I'll swatch that here for you as well. Um, see how it's got a nice depth to it, still a lot of shine in there. So moody from Tarte is kind of like your sheer way to experience burgundy, and then these are a couple of more intense options. Also a lip liner, and I know this is more more on the plum side, but I end up using it a lot of times when I'm doing these deeper red lip colors, and I think it works really nicely. And it's from Jordana, and it's the Easy Liner for Lips in Plush Plum. So just a twist up style there. You don't have to sharpen it. And when you see it alongside these other colors, I think you can totally see how this would work paired with some of these other shades. And I do think a lip liner is nice to have when you're working with deeper colors and you're trying to, you know, keep the look really precise on your lips. This is a great great one and so inexpensive. Now I haven't done my nails yet. I just totally ran out of time last night, but I did grab my favorite uh, burgundy nail polish to tell you about. And this is the Wet n Wild Mega Last line, which I really, really love. And this shade is called Haze of Love. So it's a very creamy, rich burgundy shade. Not too purpley. It's still got a lot of red in it. And I really like the brush on these polishes. Um, if you've tried these, you know that it's kind of a thick brush, um, kind of wide left to right, so very similar to the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure. Um, I do feel like these wear really nicely, you know, just put a top coat on there and I think you really extend the wear a lot. For cheeks, I actually do have a couple of blushes that I, I do think they appear kind of burgundy in the packaging. Sheared out, I think they give just a gorgeous rosy flush to the cheeks, perfect for fall. Um, and by the way, you don't have to wear all the burgundy things all at once like I am today. I wanted to show you as much as possible on my face so you could get a sense of how it would look. Feel free to pick and choose. I do, however, like to, when I'm wearing a deep lip like this. I like to wear kind of a rosy blush. The blush that I'm wearing today is from NARS and the shade is Dulce Vita or Dolce Vita and it is a really really pretty color. Like when you see it kind of sheared out, see how much red is in this shade? I think it looks so pretty on the cheeks just really lightly. There's not a lot of shimmer in this shade. I mean I really feel like it's for the most part pretty matte. So love that blush. Also if you're wanting a lower cost alternative to that, um, it, the e.l.f. Studio blush in blushing rose. See how similar these shades are? You know, they're pretty close. Blushing rose, though, does have a little bit of shimmer in there, so you're going to get some added glow along with the color on your cheeks. I love this shade. Love them both, so I just wanted to give them both a shout out. Now let's talk eyeshadows. Um, for a great cream base, loving the uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Pomegranate Punk. This may have been one of the first that I picked up when the color tattoos came out. So pretty, kind of metallic, 
definitely rosy and that is you know the base for my eye look today and these last a long time you can wear them on their own but this makes a very beautiful layering color if you want to put a taupe over the top of it or some you know a sheer wash of some other shade a little bit of this shines through and it's very unique and pretty so the other thing I've got on my eyes today which is a great quad that incorporates burgundy is this one from Maybelline eye studio in taupe temptress so this is great you've got the deep burgundy shade but along with it you've got a pearly white and then like you can kind of go in two different directions with the mid-tone shade you can go more warm with this pretty rose gold color or you can use this taupe kind of grayish shade so I use the taupe color over pomegranate punk on my lid started blending this up into the crease smudged this deep burgundy also under my eye it's a very very pretty quad there are the swatches you can see pearly your mid-tones and then really really deep burgundy color a couple of singles that you may have heard me mention in my makeup geek favorites video but they're both um, kind of two different takes on burgundy that I think are just stunning one is the makeup geek shadow in burlesque beautiful shimmery burgundy shade see how there's a nice amount of red in there but it's very deep you could do a smoky eye with that shade not be worried about it like making your eyes look sickly or anything like that and the other shade that I love from this line that's so unique is called bitten and this would be like a matte take on a burgundy red so I'll give you a swatch of that as well you can see a little more red comes through in this matte shade and I actually chose to use bitten um, really softly just blended up around the border of this look to bring out some more of the red because in taupe temptress the burgundy Burgundy is very, very deep. And so I like throwing in that extra shade to just pop it up a notch. Also, I wanted to point out another great burgundy is this Cyber Ruby single from Estee Lauder. It's the pure color, cyber metallic, and you can wear these wet or dry. This is a gorgeous shade. I used this in my Estee Lauder One brand tutorial, but it's very similar to Burlesque from Makeup Geek. So if you're looking for a dupe option there, those colors are very similar. And one more quad that works in burgundy, and this is an oldie but a good um, such a great quad. I'm falling back in love with it again. It's the CoverGirl Drama Eyes. If you've been with me forever, you know I used to talk about this constantly, and yeah, it's got the perfect burgundy, a silver, a black, and a white. So you can get an intense dark eye with this look if you want to. I went ahead and swatched these right here. Look how great those shades are. More pigmented than you might expect, so I love those. Finally, I thought it might be useful for me to mention a few bigger palettes. If you're thinking about a larger palette purchase in the near future and you do want it to include this beautiful burgundy color, a few recommendations recommendations from me. One is Balm Jovi. One of my favorite shades in this palette is Alice Copper right down here. Beautiful kind of plummy burgundy. There's a lot of like berry tone in that shade and you're getting of course lots of other great colors as well. A couple lip and cheek products too. Also in the Balm's Nude Tube there's a matte take on a burgundy shade. I know I mentioned this in Best in Beauty but sexy this shade right here. Um, kind of plummy but still when you sheer it out you see a lot more of the red in that shade and I think it's so gorgeous. Also the Lorac Unzipped palette looks like this. Um, this is great if you love your neutrals in that kind of rosy, rose gold, bronze family. And there's a really great shade up here in the corner. It's called Unbridled and it's matte. It looks really, really dark there. But again, you can get different tones of these shades to come out depending on how you apply them to your eyes. So if you pack it on, it can be that dark. But if you sheer it out, you will see more of a pretty burgundy kind of wine color out of that. So thank you guys so much for checking out this Color Lovers video. The last one ones that I did were in the summer so I got a lot of like summery color requests but now that it's fall if you've got any new colors you want to see in this series definitely let me know and I'll be happy to create more of these videos for you so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye